now when we are talking about let's just jump about uh, jump on to the one by one about the policy i think now if you have done the ccsk and aka i think this is going to be just kind of a revision for you because that would be the label that what we are going to discuss over here so there is going to be the first of all the you know we will be talking about the cloud governance so usually you know i had this in one of the you know train the training session from the uh, train the trainer session from the isaka uh, so i think that was from the csa so i was there and one of the trainer you know the you know, they were presenting and they say that one line that okay i will be coming to that general line so when we talk about the cloud governance it actually start with the establishing the decision makers and the separation between the your stakeholders your shareholders and the senior management so it is related to the accountability for those decisions and some you know something that i remember from that particular session is that there was one line that you know i think on the very first day as well i was talking about the same line in this course that if you are the organization whatever habits that you have in a cloud they are just going to go you know in your on premise in your day to day of organization life whatever habits you have those are just going to be amplified in the cloud itself so if you i i always talk about this thing if you are a disciplined organization okay so if you are a disciplined organization you will be benefiting from the cloud very quickly and if you are a poorly disciplined outside the cloud you are just going to increase your undisciplined velocity in the cloud itself and that is something that i have find it true because when i also you know joined in the you know very first time when i started doing the project so at that time i was not uh, you know i think back in 2016 i was not also that much familiar with the cloud but when i start becoming familiar with the cloud i have some, you know and i remember my first project so i remember that there was the complete chaos so around 2018 i start seeing these things more clearly that yes that if someone is you know kind of we can say the lazy ones right if we are the someone who is kind of i know feeling like uh, we generally you know just keep creating the vm not keeping the track of them and poorly manage our machines in the on premise as well so you will keep creating the vm let's say someone want to test someone created a vm this keeps it running and then you just being you know charge a very high amount of money for the cloud use so those kind of the indisciplinary will be only improve on the cloud itself now as i was talking about that you know there is going to be the three thing in the cloud governance one is going to be the policy process and then the internal control so policy is the one of the most important element of the cloud governance so here is where any organization they are going to set up the expectation of course of practice and behavior what they are going to you know follow on the day to day operation so they can specify in very clear brief and high level language that what that what are the thing that should be followed over here then you know they can specify you know, those kind of a thing and they should be lawful these things should be enforceable brief and you know, in the very high level language so that everyone can understand this thing clearly then there will be the processes and you know anywhere you will read one thing will be the, the i would say the conclusion of everything in this one that processes what process is like the life blood Okay, this is the life blood of the your cloud governance itself now these are the repeatable way in which thing are going to be accomplished that are very important to success of my organizational mandates so these are the repeatable ways that you know this thing should be done like this that if you are doing the testing you should be keeping a vm like this and then you know do you know just go ahead and destroy them when testing is done and a whole policy you should be making a chart keep the track of the things like you know we start you people start using this scrum for keeping the track or the dev boards you know those kind of you know development boards so you know uh, kanban boards so those kind of things will be always help to you know for the development team i'm talking about you know just keep track of what they are doing because uh, what i have seen 
two places in the cloud which is costing us very much that is the development and the testing so there the habit that i have seen even though people are just going and merging this with the cloud so these teams they just keep deploying the resources right and multiple time many of you know, because they are just using the uh, i would say a template right and if they required a vm sometime by mistake you know, they change the number of vm from 2 to 3 or they deploy the something like the auto scale image so what is happening they just start testing them with the you know your uh, batch processes and multiple sources goes but what they do forgot that in the auto scale one they have to control things with the something like putting the criteria right like the criteria we put in the load balancer or anywhere that if my traffic goes 75% and beyond that if you are in the active passive standby mode standby and active mode so the standby load balancer should be activated and here they are just doing the batch testing and stress testing and during that they are producing this load and there are the machine but they forgot that if my workload is being normal to the 25% i don't need the other machine to be deployed and they are i'm just paying for them while i don't have any use of them so this is the one place personally that i have seen things you know i although i started with somewhere with the process but people just just you know there is a way of doing things and that's why i was talking about that when first time i got the 2016 one so actually this was a pen testing uh, project that i got but i find that there is happening something that we call the vm sprawl means they have created too many vms that they don't even have the resource capability to handle and many of them were lying there having the open port connected to internet and many of them were already being compromised by the multiple other you know your users right because no one was paying attention to them and they were having the public connection directly over there so these kind of a thing they do happen sometimes so this is my personal experience so as a viable starting to so the these processes are the repeatable way in which thing are accomplished and that is going to be very important in the you know any organization success and even dal fall as well if no one is following those process and you know this is my personal experience so right then uh, the third part third part is going to be this internal control so it is it comes into the different different numbers and flavors right the different number of flavors so it could be your administrative control that you want to put it could be you know your physical control and obviously in the cloud you have the set of the different different technical controls that you want to put over there so you have the different option from your management you know portal itself on the terms of the network how the network should be managed how network devices application should be managed all these things are going to be the you know lot of choices you will be having how encryption should be done do you want a hybrid or only the cloud solution this kind of things will be there where should be the key stored and different different controls that you want to place over there right so there is going to be the your cloud governance 